Star Pack is one of the harder packs to get five of the kinds for. Before its recent nerf, Starfish was probably the easiest pet in the game to achieve a five of a kind for. But now it's nowhere near as good as it once was. Eel also suffered a little from its recent nerfs. However, one of the reasons it isn't quite as good as it used to be is because of the change to Kiwi, which made spamming stats onto strawberry units no longer quite so feasible. This also has had repercussions for choosing which method of wide scaling to use. As you are now less likely to already have strawberry pets, shoe bill scaling will take longer to come online. As such, it is more likely you'll fall behind in scaling and lose. It's for that reason that I think shoe bill is only really good for scaling strawberry units. Husky, on the other hand, has benefited greatly from the change to Kiwi. I think it's better than Shoebill for 5 of a kinds by a wide margin. However, the main issue with Husky is the trade-off you need to make between choosing to be greedy and maintain scaling, or trying to win by putting Pepper on all your units. Sometimes when I'm nearing 10 wins, I'll aim to put Pepper on a unit that is just over 25 attack, so it can trade with 50-50s. Though I can't guarantee that that's the most optimal strategy. As you can see, I've been mainly picking off the low-hanging fruit of the easiest unachieved 5 of kinds. I'm honestly surprised that no one had completed the Jellyfish 5 before, given how broken it used to be. However, I don't think Husky is the best scaling method in Star Pack. Here you can see a 5 of a kind Okapi run that I was going for. And you might be thinking, Wombat, what are you doing? You're combining your Okapi together when you're trying to get the 5 of a kind? That's right. And you're also thinking, hey, you've got a Husky right now. I thought you said Husky wasn't the scaling you were after. And that would also be correct. There. Now you can see what I was after. I sell the husky to get the polar bear. Now, why is the polar bear better than the husky? Right now I don't even have anything that I want that's buffed with it. The benefits of the polar bear are twofold. Firstly, you can concentrate all your buffs onto pets that you will want on your team. Though Polar Bear and Husky will, in theory, provide the same total scaling, if you don't find all your units right away, or are running multiple scalers, you'll have a lot of stats go to waste with Husky. The, un the other benefit of Polar Bear is that once you have a pet on your team, you can give a pepper right away. This mostly offsets the cost of having the pets you are scaling not being on your team, instead stuck frozen in the shop. You can see that this run didn't rely on insane high roll luck. I did manage to get a level 2 polar bear by turn 10, but if you compare that to husky, I've had a run where I had double level 2 husky by turn 9 that I still ended up losing. Sadly, my luck with maintaining lives can't continue forever. Here you can see that the opposing team has a donkey, and really there's nothing I could have done against such a powerful pet. Now you can see I'm looking for a mantis uh, in order to kill my blobfish. Do I find it? Do I find it? Not this round. So I've got more rounds where my blobfish is just wasting space on my board, waiting to die. And again, this almost looks like I'm going to lose, but I just eke out the win. Now again, we're just looking for the praying mantis, and luckily we find it. But right now our team isn't that strong, so we're going to need to start scaling a lot more heavily. And again we lose. Now I have three Okapi on my board, and two frozen, so I don't need to find any more. I just need to survive for long enough and get all my Okapi scaled up. We eke out the win. And now I have the opportunity to get another polar bear, and I pass it up. Right now, there's no real point to trying to get more than two polar bears here. 
if I go to level 3 it would just be from combining the polar bears I already have because at some point I'm going to need to add another copy onto my board as well so that I stop losing. And that's what I do now. I'm on one heart so I figure time to want to win. And you might have noticed that every time I've been buffing multiple Okabi in the shop it's always hit the polar bear buffs have always hit the rightmost Okabi. I don't know what caused that if there's some kind of issue with the way that polar bear is coded or if it's just how luck happened to turn out but that's what happened and Here we pass up a, a copy. It's not really that beneficial to level up. I'd rather just have more stat food. Again, just spamming all the stat food I can find. This would be one of those situations where you might be thinking, would a husky be better or a stego? Because it could have scaled the pets that are currently on your board. But the issue with them is that I've often been relying on the peppers in battle. So if I had one of those in battle scalers that rely on non-pepper foods, it's fairly likely I would have lost some time in the game just because I had poor breakpoints in a battle. Luckily our second 50 attack Okabi has enough power to break all the way through the reindeer's melon. So we survive a little bit longer. Still got three wins to go and I decide to bring in the last Okabi. So now we've got no permanent scaling on our team. But given that our Okabi in the shop was 50-50, I decided it needed to be on the team. And it was better to just focus on stat food rather than trying to combine Okabi and then freeze another one in the shop. By turn 19, a husky team really has no chance against a team like mine with peppers on all the units. It just can't keep up when they all can get one shot and mine have two hits guaranteed in them. Again, just freezing all the stat food. There's nothing else I'm really looking for. I've already got pepper on all my pets. So now. It's just trying to survive until 10 wins. And luckily we just managed to win there. We could have gotten a bit more unlucky and we would have lost, but I think luck is one of the most important parts of Five of Kind attempts. And really by now, just rolling is the best way to get all the stats I need uh, for going into the final battle. You'll see that we do manage to win despite them having two 50-50s in their team. So this is the real run that got me to think about uh, polar bear scaling. This run, you can see all the polar bears that are scaled up, scaled up pretty well. And the most interesting thing was I had six rounds in this game where I had no polar bears frozen, which really showed that uh, there's a lot of potential in the polar bear. Here's another polar bear scaled team. I thought this was going to be one of the harder uh, tier sixes because it has not a particularly useful ability, but it turns out it's quite good for just buying stat food onto your pets. Another polar bear run. This was one of the highest rolls I've had for a little while. Still on four lives at eight, turn 18, and we easily win that battle. I decided to show this round in particular because I was matched with Flame, who was going for another five of a kind, which is always nice to see. Clearly, Blobfish is the superior pet over the Atlantic Puffin, as we managed to pull out a win in this round. And that game also ended in a successful five of a kind. Here is another one. I've already got this five of a kind before, but 
Uh, I couldn't find anything better in shop, so I decided to just go for it again. Another fairly easy win with the pepper still intact at the back. And now we're on to some of the less standard five of kinds. So it's things like Stego. It's not really, you don't need scaling for it, so it's kind of in its own league. It's a fairly easy five of kind to get because all you need is levels. And another one that I've had the opportunity to get a number of times uh, is the Spino. Its ability is incredible for in battle scaling. And when you're trying to go for the Praying Mantis five of a kind, it's so easy just to go for the uh, Spino instead. Praying Mantis is far, far harder than the Spino. Well, that's it for me. I hope to see some of you guys get some more of the Star Pack 5s. I feel like I'm the only one who's been getting them recently. And with that, I'll say goodbye. Get out of here.